When one discusses religion with people, they say, well, I, I need a religion because I need something to hold on to. That's the way not to use a religion. Because if you use religion as something to hold on to, your religion is an expression of unfaith. Faith is where you let go, not where you hold on. When the cat falls off the tree, the cat relaxes, you see? And so the cat lands with a soft thud and doesn't get hurt because the cat has faith. If the cat in midair would suddenly to grab itself with all four feet and, and tighten up, you see, it'd be hurt. That's what people do when they say, rock of ages theft for me, let me hide myself in thee. They want me to hold on to it, you see? And that is unfaith. It cleanses you completely of all beliefs, all ideas, all concepts. You are completely let go. And so the method of Buddhism is to knock out the underpinnings and say, well, we just, not only do we not believe in anything, we don't even believe in not believing in anything. Because you can do it on what seems at first to be a merely intellectual level. So you can engage a group of people in the discussion and you can start whenever they propose an idea that is their sort of guiding principle of life, you demolish it, show that it doesn't hold water. And step by step you unearth by talking with them what are the fundamental ideas they're operating on. Everybody is. Everybody is a philosopher. Everybody has metaphysics, although they may not know what it is. They've never examined it. But by this method you bring it out and you demolish it. And this suddenly, what seemed like a very nice intellectual discussion, turns into sheer murder. Uh, people get really anxious. They develop all the trembles and the symptoms of extreme anxiety. And so they finally say to the guru, the teacher, well, heaven's sakes, what do you believe in? He says, I'm not proposing anything. I didn't set anything up. Well, how do you navigate? How do you, how do you exist? This is what's the problem. It cleanses you completely of all beliefs, all ideas, all concepts. You are completely let go. Because you can do it on what seems at first to be a merely intellectual level. And step by step you unearth by talking with them what are the fundamental ideas they're operating on. Everybody is a philosopher. Everybody has metaphysics, although they may not know what it is. They've never examined it. But by this method, you bring it out. And so they finally say to the guru, the teacher, well, heaven's sakes, what do you believe in? He says, I'm not proposing anything. I didn't set anything up. Well, how do you navigate? How do you, how do you exist? This is what's the problem.